Hey, so let's go ahead and learn how to create stickers like this one with Microsoft Designer. The first thing you need to do is to go to designer.microsoft.com. Now this is a free program and you can get started by clicking the button on the top right hand side of your screen. Okay, so I am logged into Designer and if you check out some of the other videos on my channel, you can see how you can use Designer to create your own images with prompts. It's just like DALI, or if you're not familiar with DALI, it's just like ChatGPT, except the output is not text. It's actually some pretty amazing photos. So if you want, you can play around with the ability to create your own image, but I'm going to scroll all the way at the bottom and I'm going to choose this option that says sticker creator. Let me go ahead and try this. So here are some examples of stickers that you can create as well as the prompts that were used to generate those images. So it's pretty straightforward. All we're going to do is to write a prompt for the sticker that we want to create. Okay, so here is my prompt, a pink unicorn with purple stripes and a rainbow horn. I'm interested to see how this is going to turn out. All right, so I was able to generate these two examples. Now, if I click on this image, I can see a larger view. And if this is something that I want, I can just select download. And now I have that sticker. I can copy and paste that maybe in a text message or anywhere else where I would like. Let's go try to create a few others. How about this one? An amorphic slice of pizza wearing sunglasses and flossing. Okay, here are two different options. Now, one of the things that I didn't mention with the unicorn that's kind of nice about these images is they are created with a transparent background. So all you have to do is copy and paste it and you're not gonna have to worry about that white box around the images. So that's something nice. Now, we also have to consider some of the language we use in, in prompts because you can see that I said flossing and it assumed that flossing meant with teeth. So you can see that this one has a piece of floss. That one looks like it to the left, looks like it has a water pick. So when you're doing this and you're looking for a particular look, you do have to really pay attention to your wording. So I'm just going to say um, a, a amorphic piece of slice of pizza wearing sunglasses and doing the floss. Let's see how that works. <laughs> okay, so we have two different versions. Not quite the dance I was thinking, but close. And of course, I could also continue to modify my prompt and regenerate. All right, so I want to try this one. I'm going to choose an NFL quarterback throwing the football in the style of Madden. Okay, there's two examples. One more of a general kind of example. And the second is a quarterback that suspiciously kind of looks a little bit like Tom Brady. Okay, let's do one more. I'm choosing a cute puppy dog in the style of Sanrio. Okay, here are two choices. I think I kind of like this one better. So thank you for watching. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you could subscribe.